semana, ¿no? No. Esta es. Uh -huh. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening, teacher. How Hello. Good evening. How's everything? Uh, everything is okay. <laughs> <laughs> How is it going? How was your day? All it, it's a great day. It's mm -hmm. been a great day. That's awesome. A little busy. A little busy. <laughs> I know, yes. I know. It gets busy everywhere. Starting very early in the morning, since the traffic, the activities, so many things to do in the morning, and then the day flies, and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Did yes. you have dinner already? Yes, yes. Of course. <laughs> we need energy. <laughs> nice. Yes. Miss. Today was my last uh, vacation day. Really? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Ready for yeah. tomorrow. Ready. <laughs> okay. Ready. So, my, let's say tomorrow would be another welcome. <laughs> uh, uh, another yeah. welcome. That's awesome. Good so evening. Anxious. Hi, good evening, Mr. Medina. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm okay. Thank you for asking. Welcome. Thank you. All right. Mr. Miranda. Mr. Miranda changed his name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know. It's raining here. Is it raining in your place? In your city? No. Oh my God. It's raining a little bit. Where do you live? I live here near the University of El Salvador. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. like? Near Universitaria Norte. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> near, near, yes. So it's between, it's between Mexicano and Sacamil. Mm -hmm. I think. Uh -huh. So it was like, much. hi, good evening. Good evening, Mr. Romero. How are you? I'm tired. Tired. <laughs> Just getting home. Yeah. I believe you. Okay. Did you have a good day? Did you have a great day? A great day. A yes. great day. That's good. That's awesome. Yeah, we got to be very, very thankful. Yes, with life, with God, because we have this opportunity to join, to get together, to get to know people, to study, to learn to improve, to acquire new skills, right? So that is really a blessing to be able to learn, okay? Well, welcome. Yes. Uh -huh. What happened yesterday? Let's see who remembers the topic from yesterday. Yes, oh, the models, the models. Uh -huh. The models, the adverse, what else? What else do you remember from yesterday's class? Let's refresh the memory. <laughs> <laughs> Click. Models and, and Mo adverse. Models and adverse. Okay, models and adverse for? Popular emoticons. Ah, <laughs> okay, popular emojis. Okay, or expressions or gestures, right? What else? Uh -huh. The models and the adverbs to express what? Uh, possibility. Agree. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Possibility, right? Possibility. So which are the models that you remember? Might, may, who, must. Must exactly. Maybe. Uh -huh. Those are adverbs, but the models, yes. My, may, yeah. could, and must, right? Must. Depending could, of the degree must. of 
possibility maybe. of certainty, right? And the adverse, uh -huh, maybe. Maybe, maybe perhaps, perhaps, perhaps uh, possibly, possibly, probably, 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 definitely, definitely, right? Okay, so those are in the order of certainty as well. Okay, that's good. Okay, in the case of the adverbs, which have to be used at the beginning of the sentence? The pronoun. All right, but there are two adverbs that we have to use them before the pronoun, before the subject. Which are those? Uh, maybe. Maybe and? Perhaps. 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 Perhaps, exactly. You say maybe it means, maybe mm -hmm. it is this or perhaps. Perhaps. Right. Perhaps. And the others? Probably, possibly, and definitely have to be used where in the sentence? Uh, at the After. end. Between, uh, between the subject and the verb, right? Oh, it yeah. possibly mm -hmm. means that, mm, uh -huh, definitely means, right? So you use the pronoun first, then you use the adverb, and then you use the verb, all right? Yeah. Yes, that, that's a refresh. That's something that you're going to come across on the platform probably, okay? So let me share the screen to start our class. Well, this is the class number 10 now. Number 10. Yay! <laughs> Have you seen your videos? Have you ever? No? Yes. Never? All right. So today we're going to have the review of the use of models and interpret proverbs in English. Okay. This is the review. Of course, we started this. Okay, may, my good for possibility. Probably people use may a lot, might, not much, and could. But may, might, and could are used to say that something is possible now or in the future, right? So that's another. I mean, since we were talking and we're trying to give a specific meaning or a possible meaning to gestures and interpretations, that's why we were talking about it possibly means, right? Or it might mean, it may mean, it could mean, right? So giving a, an interpretation to a gesture. So that's why we were using them in this way. But they can also be used in a different way, right? Here we have some sentences. I am afraid of dogs. And one of this is the reason, right? She may drown, they could fall or crash. He may tell me that I have a terrible illness. Some of them could jump on me. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them could jump on me or they may bite me. I'm afraid of dogs. Uh huh. So you have to find the possible reason why this person say this. The other one says, I don't like spiders because, and then there's another possible reason. Raul mm -hmm. never goes swimming because, blah, blah, blah. I don't like flying on planes because I worry about going to the doctor because, right? So this could be the possible reason. So try to think about, try to match them, okay? I'm going to give you one minute for you to come out, okay? And then, of course, we're going to match, okay? Let me know okay. when you're ready. Okay. Are you ready now? Do you have the answer, the possible reason? I don't like mm -hmm. Okay. I am yes. afraid because uh, some of them could jump on me. I'm afraid of dogs because some of them could jump on me. Okay. Uh -huh. 
Is that okay. correct? Everybody agree? Yes. Uh, yes. I think that they may bite me. Uh -huh. yeah, they may bite me. All right. I think they could jump on me would be the spiders, right? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Let's put it that way. So if I'm afraid of dogs. Uh huh. Because they may. They may bite me. They may bite me. Okay. Right. So it's a possibility, right? When we go to another person's house and that person has a dog, especially if the dog is a big dog, we are like, hmm. There's a possibility that dog bites me, right? So it's, oh, it may bite me, or they may bite me, right? Might or may bite me, right? right. Uh huh. The second one, I don't like spiders because because some of them could jump on me. Uh -huh. Some of them could jump on me. But not a spider man, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. well. it's, it's because some people were talking about a spider-man because of a new movie right and they keep talking and talking and talking about this new movie of the spider-man all right paola never goes swimming because because she may drown down. she may drown yeah like me <laughs> i don't like i don't like the swimming pool because i made drawn <laughs> all right yeah. uh -huh. i don't like flying on planes because because they could fall or crash. fall or crash imagine they could fall or crash that's really being negative <laughs> okay yes. i worry about going to the doctor because he might he tell might me, me that I have a terrible illness. <laughs> Patricia feels related to this. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. I think as patients, we all have this, um, I don't know, insecurity, right? That we don't go because we don't want to hear something negative about our health, right? Yes. Uh, the doctor might tell me that I have a terrible illness or I just yes. have this this very personal curiosity about the doctors the doctors always tell me I mean probably oh. not just me I, I have this idea that is very general that doctors always tell the patients that they need to lose weight that they are not eating well that they are just doing everything wrong <laughs> i just have this misconception because every time i go i say oh no you need to lose weight oh no you're getting fat oh no my god you look terrible so you have to do exercise <laughs> exactly you have to do exercise you have to go on a diet you have to eat more vegetable you have to eat healthy food not not yeah. drink soda exactly <laughs> drink a lot of water oh my no god sugar. No <laughs> sugar. exactly no avoid fatty food eat only uh, olive oil don't eat food from the street oh my god there's a lot of restrictions i have heard <laughs> but that is the idea <laughs> i know i know but many patients don't want to listen to that <laughs> Uh, and I have like this general misconception, probably. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> okay. All right. So we clear all this and we move on. Okay. This is just as a review of the models auxiliary. Remember, may, my, and could, all of them mean the same, possibly, right? Possibly. Okay. So there's another exercise. Of course you have a sentence and you have the model know. in parentheses right so complete the sentences give me one second this is moving it says um i have a question yes tell me what is translate to mean translate mean the meaning mean mean así como call mean email mean 
Ah, uh, may, may, oh, okay. podría. It's like Pod could. Podría, podría. Mm -hmm. Cope, uh -huh, podría. Could. It's the same. Could, may, may. Oh. Mm -hmm. Los tres serían podría. Exactly. Oh. But okay. in English, there's a big possibility that when you listen to somebody speaks English, um, this person would use in a big percentage may or might instead of could. Because we tend to think that could is podría, right? Mm -hmm. But it is very, very common that they use may or might instead of could. It is a lot more common. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this case, there are two sentences, of course, the first one, it's a complete sentence and the other one you're missing the auxiliary and the verb and of course you have to give a similar meaning okay it says i don't know if the science fiction movie is out this week and then you have in parentheses the model could right the mm -hmm. science fiction movie could be out this week and this sentence means exactly the same as the first sentence, right? So that's why you have two sentences. You have to use a modal auxiliary verb and a verb, of course, to give a similar meaning to the second sentence related to the first one, of course, right? So the number one is already done. So you have to go from number two to number nine, right? Is that clear? Yes. Is there any question? Let's do the number two. It's uncertain <clears throat> if this fly will depart tonight. It's uncertain, it means that we don't know yet. There's no uh, sure answer, right? There's a possibility that the fly depart. So we say his fly. My, my, my be tonight depart, depart, might depart tonight. tonight exactly there's a possibility but we're not sure yet okay. yes it is uncertain is that clear yes yes teacher. all right so yes. i'm gonna give you some minutes for you to work with your partners try to ask questions if possible about vocabulary that you're not very sure of that you're not very certain and then compare your answers okay so let me see we're gonna get four groups enough i think and i'll share the screenshot all right all right okay Uh, oh, the number three, I think she is at work. And uh, in, the, in this case, uh, maybe she may she may maybe May, she may be at work. May be at work. Uh -huh. She may be at work. Ella podría estar en el trabajo. But the verb be it is with s or not because it's third person. Yes, it's ad, adverb. She may. No. Uh, no. What is your, what is your question? <laughs> oh, okay. Not yet. 
Number four. I it, don't know if I will go to see a movie tonight. It depends on my boss. She may be. She may, she may be a work. Oh. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. The fourth. Uh, I may be. See a movie tonight. Help me, please. <laughs> yes, it's a my 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 be a movie tonight. Trabajo. She may be at work. Okay. Okay. Number uh, four. Number four. I don't know if I will go to see a movie tonight. It depends on it my depends. boss. Uh -huh. Okay. We have to use Mike. Okay. Uh -huh. You say, I might Siempre es con el B. No. I no. Say, I might see a movie tonight. Mm -hmm. Go to okay. see. Go to see. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I might, I might go to see. Uh -huh. I think that is okay. the correct answer. Okay. And the eight. Eight. Yes. I'm not sure if George will enjoy traveling to the jungle. Uh, George be traveling to the jungle. Teria, uh -huh. be be cold or cold be traveling. Uh, be traveling to the jungle. Could be ah, uh, could be, be traveling, traveling to the jungle. Yes. Okay. Uh, parents, my favorite singers will visit my city one day. My favorite singles may be my city one day. I see. I see. Yeah. Okay. And we're yeah. finished. Finished. <laughs> Any question? Um. And I this have a question. Oh, well, tell me. Next, next. next. O sea, la otra compañera primero y luego yo. Oh, no, okay. you first, you first. <laughs> I <can>. Anybody. <laughs> well, uh, in this sentence, just uh, agree at B. No. You have to find a similar meaning. So if you need to use another verb, you can use it. Mm -hmm. It's okay. For example, in the number two, we already did it, right? Number three, I think she's at work. Mm -hmm. huh? I think, so it's, I have the idea, right? I I believe, okay? And then yeah. you say, oh, I think she might be, or she may be at work. In that case, it's be fine, no problem. But in the other one, I don't know if I will go to see a movie tonight. It depends on my boss. So then we don't need, right? We don't need a B. Because case, we say, I, I may go to tonight. Uh huh. Oh. I might go. Ah, go. Ah. Uh huh. So you have to find. Okay. The interpretation to the same meaning, right? The, the two sentences have very similar meaning, mm -hmm. but in another way to say it, right? Using mm -hmm. a model. When, mm. when I can use B, 
mm -hmm. or uh, use the uh, verbs the pressing in the sentence exactly okay exactly because you need to give a very similar interpretation but using a modal auxiliary okay mm -hmm. i got it <laughs> all right so you double check no problem yeah thanks I may be C. Mm -hmm. I may I I may be see a movie tonight. Maybe. Let's see. Okay. Oh, the fry mm -hmm. is Elvis Presley could be alive. It's cool. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Could be. The sips, my mother may be from tomorrow. Yes. Maybe. Okay. Uh, la, la llegada. Okay. We do it, teacher. Finished. Finished. Yes. No oh. problem. Okay. No, so mm. confusing in, sentence. <laughs> in one, in one I, case, we, we have a confused, but uh, I think oh, I, I don't remember what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Which sentence? The yeah. last one. Ah. Oh, the last one. No, what happened? The last one. No. My favorite singer may visit my city one day. Uh huh. But, um, I might, the number four, I might see a movie tonight, or I uh, go to see. It's called, or I might go to see. Either or. I might see, there's a possibility uh, that I can see a movie tonight, or there's a possibility that I go to see a movie. If you want to be very similar to the original sentence, you say, I might go to see a movie tonight. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But Teacher, in both, I have a question. Yes. Uh, but the class yesterday, uh, the models in in the verse is no s, but in this example, no use or we never never use s. I mean, we never add s to the verb when we use a model auxiliary. We use in the base form. Exactly. But if we go, use uh -huh. adverbs. If we use adverbs, then we definitely have to add the S because the adverbs are not affecting the verb directly. It's just a word that expresses a possibility. Okay. Uh -huh. And this is because it's definitely uh, modifying the verb directly because it's, it may rain it might rain we don't say it may rains or it might rains there's a possibility that it rains tonight right so we say it might rain or it is possibly that it rains in that case yes we have to add s with the adverse we need to add s if it is a third person singular right but with the modal auxiliary verse no we just leave the verb in base form. Okay, and uh, so in this example, uh, I need put S and adverse. In this case, we don't have any adverb. We only have models. We have ah, okay. adverse. Uh -huh, my, may. The adverse are, the adverse are perhaps. 
maybe uh -huh. perhaps possible perhaps possibly okay definitely yes usually adverbs finish in ly possibly definitely right mm -hmm. there are obviously two exceptions which is perhaps and maybe but that maybe it's one word it's not maybe right it's okay. one single word okay yes okay. Thank, you. thank you all right so we're gonna finish we're gonna return okay okay yes okay good done not everybody has returned <laughs> they are possibly still working <laughs> oh they are coming hi did you finish yes ma'am all yes. right perfect yes. i think there's sure. still one group that hasn't returned okay <laughs> yes <laughs> nice. we're still waiting for a group i bet Como I se dice, al parecer. it looks like it, it looks seems like it seems like yes okay thanks yes apparently oh uh, yeah there they are you see <laughs> okay there they are okay let me share the screen so that we can complete this exercise all together. All right, here we go. Hmm. The first one is already done. The second one, we did it before, but we're going to complete it no matter what. All right. Yeah, let me just move this right here. Okay, and the... Let's put it this way. Okay, it says it is uncertain if his fly will depart tonight. Will depart. Okay, the verb here is depart. And the modal auxiliary is? Will. Might. Will. Oh, might. Uh huh. So might. his might. fly might, might depart. Might depart tonight, right? Mm -hmm. So that's how we use it. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. So the next one. I think she is at work. So she she may be she may be at work. work. She may be at work. So there's a possibility mm -hmm. that she is at work, right? She may be at work. I don't know if I will go. So there's a possibility, but I don't know. It's uncertain. So I don't know if I will go to see a movie tonight. It depends on my boss. So I might go. I go to see. Okay, I might go to see a movie tonight. To see a movie tonight, or I might see a movie if you don't want to specify, right? So probably mm -hmm. you might see the movie at home, <laughs> but in the first sentence says. I don't know if I will go to see a movie. That means that you will go to a place, right? <laughs> so yeah. some people think that Elvis Presley is alive. Yeah, some people think that uh, Michael Jackson is alive too. <laughs> Someone yeah. would have seen him by now. Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley could, could be, be, alive. Alive. be alive. Okay, could be alive, right? <laughs> So that's what people think, all right? Okay. Maybe my mother will arrive from England tomorrow. My mother. Uh, my mother may, may arrive. Arrive, arrive, may from, arrive England tomorrow. from England tomorrow. So there's a possibility uh -huh, that she may arrive or might arrive from England tomorrow. Perhaps Alejandra will buy new clothes if she goes to the mall. Alejandra might buy. This Alejandra will spend her money on clothes. 
Okay. <laughs> she might buy some new clothes if she goes to the mall. I'm not sure if George she will enjoy. Yes. <laughs> I'm not sure if George will enjoy traveling to the jungle. Uh huh. George, George, George could enjoy. Exactly. Could enjoy. Oh my God. Could enjoy. In this case, try not to pronounce the letter L, right? Could. It's going to be easier for okay. you. Yes, George could enjoy traveling to the jungle. All right. Next one, perhaps my favorite singer mm -hmm. will visit my city one day. Hmm, I heard that El Buki is coming. So, <laughs> <laughs> Some students might go to the concert. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. No, teacher. No, no please. <laughs> no, I yeah, spend I, I my money school. in that form. <laughs> <laughs> please don't waste your money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, my favorite singer. May, May visit my city one day. My city. May visit. Yes. Actually, uh, some people are thinking about giving the mothers this concert tickets as present for Mother's Day. So mm -hmm. I hear my, my students were saying that. Okay. I know I have my, my Mother's Day present, they say. All right. So my favorite singer may visit my city one day. Okay. So this mm -hmm. is how it was okay any question any doubt no teacher it's okay it's okay it's All okay right. no question you have it's a lot of us i don't know yes tell me yes no questions no all right perfect <laughs> So we can erase like in the boards. <laughs> All right. Let's see. One second. Yesterday we were trying to give an interpretation to gestures, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to give an interpretation to an expression. Okay. An expression <clears throat> that doesn't have a literal meaning. Okay. For example, this is something that you probably remember from basic school when the teacher say figuras literarias. So it's figurative language, okay? In Spanish, probably your parents, your grandparents, your uncle, your aunt had these dichos or refranes, right? So that's what it is called in Spanish. But in English, it's called proverbs, okay? So this is what we're going to try to interpret. Give me one second. I might go to my PowerPoint. I lost it already. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my God. It's here. Never mind. Uh huh. Proverbs. Proverbs. Exactly. Proverbs like Roberts. Okay. And this is me <laughs> trying to give an interpretation. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Here are some common proverbs. Common, imagine. So people use them. Mm -hmm. Common proverbs in English. What do you think they mean? A penny saved is a penny earned. You know what a penny is? One cent? Yes. Yes. So a penny saved is a penny earned. What's mean earned? Earned. It's Ahorrado. Exactly. Ganado, save. Exactly. When you save, say how much do save. you exactly how much do you earn? How much money do you earn in, in your salary or in your business? So not much. When you work, <laughs> you work for a salary or for for some money, right? So it's not much sometimes, okay? But you so say, I earn my my money. So you don't have to ask for money, <laughs> okay? So you work and then they pay for your work probably. So a penny save is a penny earned. This is common, okay? That mm -hmm. doesn't mean that un centavo ahorrado es un centavo ganado, centavo if you translate ganado. it literally. But mm -hmm. we don't need to translate literally. We need to give an interpretation. 
when you're probably your parents when you were young used to tell you your husband <laughs> exactly <laughs> somebody in the family always a reminder don't spend a lot of yeah. a lot of money Why? We, don't, we don't need to buy those things these things are okay or we don't <laughs> we don't have to go out you can cook here so they say save 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 money right so that is the meaning that whatever money that you save is money that you can accumulate, right? So it's money that you already have, money that it, it's going to be probably worthy later in the in the future, probably. You will say, oh, thank God I, I saved some money for this emergency, right? So that is the interpretation, okay? okay. The next one, a stitching or time, yes? <laughs> A stitch, a stitch. A stitch in time a save stitch nine. nine. Some of these have like rhyme. A stitch es una puntada. So a stitch in time save nine. <laughs> so, como que una puntada a tiempo le puede ahorrar nueve puntadas. <laughs> know, this is kind of literal, right? When we speak in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Si se le descose una prenda. Mejor que la... Uh -huh cosa antes y así se evita dar un montón de puntadas más, right? So sometimes good decisions, right? Or smart decisions on time avoid bigger problems later, right? So that's what it means. When you react immediately on time, okay, quickly, don't wait until the problem is bigger, okay? So this would be an interpretation. Uh-huh, don't burn your fridges behind you. That's... Don't burn your fridges. <laughs> oh, you. your bridges, sorry. Your um, bridges. bridges okay. es, es, Puentes. Es el novio. <laughs> ah, el puente. <laughs> yeah, that's bride. <laughs> bride. But, yeah, but it's a woman. <laughs> sorry. Bridges. Okay, don't burn your breeches behind you. Hmm. If you think literally, it's like if you fire or if you have some similar defects. No quemes tu puente entre... Atrás de ti. Atrás de ti. Uh-huh. That, that could mean, <laughs> that may mean <laughs> that if you have similar problems, don't criticize other people for the same problem, right? So don't judge problem. Yeah. All right, every cloud has a silver lining. Wow. Like every rose has its turn. Wow. <laughs> I like I like song. I like that song. <laughs> it, it, uh -huh. it, it is younger poison. Exactly. Yes. Uh -huh. Every cloud. What do we have the idea that a cloud it's dark mm -hmm. and it's gray? It's nublado, it's, nublado. Uh -huh. Pero. O cada... Cada, cada nube. Cosa, exactly. Cada cosa negativa tiene algo bueno. Mm -hmm. o podemos sacarle algo bueno, right? Yeah. Not all the clouds are terrible problems. Or there are people that are always very pessimistic and that always see the negative sides of the situations, right? But we have to look at the positive of the lesson that we can learn from something negative, right? So that is the meaning. Okay. One person's meat is another person's poison. Uh, la carne para una persona puede ser veneno para otra persona. Exactly. Yeah. So this means that what is good for somebody may not be good for somebody else, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very similar to what we say, what is beautiful for somebody, maybe for another person it's not beautiful. Uh -huh. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Don't count your chickens before they hatch. 
cuentes tus pollos antes <laughs> antes que rompan el cascara. Exactly. It's like some people get like really excited. They start oh, counting or getting debts probably before they get the money and start getting probably good things and or begin the project. Beginning a project, exactly. And they don't really have something for sure yet, right? So we're gonna give some other interpretation yes. because these are some, believe me, in English, there are many proverbs, many, a lot. So we're gonna give a list, aquí tengo unos listados de algunos cuantos. A picture is worth a thousand words. Aquí tengo las interpretations. So, an image can tell a story better than words, but you can give examples. For example, when you teach a child something, you want to give a lesson, you want to teach your child something, but if you only tell, 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 probably the child would never understand. But if you go with the example, if you show a video or you show images, the child will understand better or will understand faster, right? So that would be an example for a picture is worth a thousand words. Yes. Mm -hmm. Some people say you can tell a child a thousand times, but if you don't demonstrate with your example, the child probably will never notice what you're trying to teach that is an example another one actions speak louder than words <clears throat> actions speak louder than words mm -hmm. las acciones hablan más que las palabras exactly so mm -hmm. what you do is more important to what you say Yes. Some people can say, oh, no, it's because I'm very tolerant, I'm very patient, I am very kind, and I am, and I am. Uh, but you just tell them something, say, no, please don't tell me. Is that an action that speaks louder than words, right? You have yeah. to demonstrate. Exactly, with <laughs> your actions, okay? Yes. And so you're going to give the interpretation to this. Aquí hay otros. And I'm gonna add some others, okay? And try to give example with your partners. Of course, I'm going to change the groups and you're gonna work with somebody else, okay? Let's okay. make other groups and let's work together. Uh, I understand we talk about the, the sentences and give uh, some samples or we understand about that. Okay. Uh, for example, better late than never is, is interesting for me uh, because it's, it's right. Yeah, it's better to finish something late than to never do it at all. It's, it's a very good, I don't know, how do you say consejo? Advice. Advice. Advice, thank you. Advice. Teacher. Como no 
Who is giving? Ah, you you read the the last one. Okay, don't use a book. But... The last one. Sorry, sorry, I was moving. No, to... no, teacher. Sorry, uh, uh, only only understand uh, the the sentences. Try to give an example. Okay, because ah. because these proverbs already have the interpretation. It's easier okay. for you just to adapt to a, oh. an example, to a reality. Okay, All right. perfect. Thank you. Uh, for example, the better late. Mm -hmm. Signs don't last. And the next is beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Uh, what, what is, is beauty? Beholder? Uh, I don't know what, what is uh, what is beholder is similar to en el ojo del que mira del que está viendo dice what is beautiful is different for each person exactly it depends <laughs> uh -huh. see beautiful and then first <laughs> okay. beauty is in the eye of the beholder la belleza está en el ojo que lo ve why it's beautiful oh, different. la belleza está en el ojo del que lo ve yes ah ajá yeah. um. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes. beauty is for me uh is beautiful like this and for you is it different mm -hmm. for each yes. person uh, for uh for the the, uh -huh, the, the people person. the people i see i see difference Person is different. Uh, yeah. Don't use a book by it. Mm -hmm. uh, no juzgues el libro por su portada. Mm -hmm. Es el libro por su portada. Mm -hmm. I, I, I books I. Yes. The most important is no the appearance of the person. Of the pain, I don't know. The appearance is different. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. It's apparent, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yo soy malo para leer. Okay. Pero practique bastante cómo se escucha. <risa> o, sea, ¿no? o sea, hay, hay aplicaciones donde a cada Ajá. rato salen los videos y uno tiene que estar yeah. repitiendo y repitiendo y se le queda uno bastante. Yeah. Lo que sucede es esto que... Repitiendo. Blas. Ok, I believe the good friends. Los buenos, los when, buenos amigos. When you think that, los buenos, that are that they are good friends, because if they they are uh, not good, good friends. Good times. Um, good times. Los buenos tiempos. When you spend the time with your good. best friends. Vacation uh, for a uh -huh. short time. Uh -huh. Vacation. That's right. Don't, don't last forever. The vacation. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, uh, better late than never. Huh? Es mejor tarde que nunca. Uh huh. It's better to finish. Uh, it's so, better to finish it, something late than to never do it, do it at all. Uh 
Okay. For example. Study. Study. For example. Yeah. You... yeah, yeah. Get some what that you want. A car. A house. A house. Two. A kid. Maybe. Day. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Didn't finish. <laughs> Not yet. It's time to finish. <laughs> <laughs> Did you finish all the, the examples, all the interpretations? No. Yes, yes. It's, uh... I can finish because <laughs> I can see the second screen. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's give one fast example per each. Okay, uh, we already talked about a picture is worth a thousand words. Action is speak louder than words. Better late than never. This is very similar in Spanish, right? Mejor tarde que nunca. Exactly, it's better to finish something late than to never do it at all, right? Sometimes we say, oh no. I think it's too late to study. No, but it's still time. Or it's never too late to learn something new. You say, oh no, I want to learn to cook. It's never too late. So it's better late than never. Okay? All good things must come to an end. <laughs> Everything ends. Good times don't last forever. No matter how good something is, it has to have an end, right? Sometimes it happens with good artists that you want that they never end the career, but they have to end the career. Sometimes they just die, right? So parties, celebrations, they have an end and good things always have an end. Okay. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. What is beautiful is different from each person. That, that definitely true, right? what for some people might be attractive interesting for some other people might not be and vice versa right para, para gustos los colores dicen. exactly <laughs> <laughs> don't judge a book by its cover yeah don't judge a book exactly this cover. is something that happens very often right that the we just see somebody and we have an, <laughs> the first impression and then we have a judgment, right? We have to say something or we criticize someone or something just by the first impression. But the book is not just the cover, the book is all the content, right? Mm -hmm. So it's more than just the cover. And the next one, don't put all your eggs in one basket. So don't put all your hopes and resources into one goal or dream. So don't put oh, all your energy, all your resources in one little... Or las esperanzas. Exactly. On one single hope or one single dream, right? Easy come, easy go. Fácil viene, fácil Exactly. Fácil Exactly. Some people say, what is easy? It, people don't value it, right? So if you just give something to someone, just that easy, so that person doesn't really care because it was not hard work for that person, okay? Easy come, easy go. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Yes. <laughs> Knowledge so, is power. That's People say true. that, exactly. If you know something, if you have knowledge about something, you definitely have the power on that area, right? Practice makes perfect. And this is the ending, okay? In any area, in any area any of our area, life, yes. practice makes perfect. The more you practice, the better definitely you become, the more you improve. So the more you do something, the better you will become at it. So whenever you want to improve or get better at something, keep practicing. At least 
one minute, 10 minutes, an hour, half an hour will make the difference compared to nothing of practice, okay? So that's definitely true, okay? And definitely relates to learning English or learning another language. That's definitely true. Computing as well. <laughs> Cooking. Amilcar con back. <laughs> what happened? Okay. Yes, he had he had disappeared. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I have I have had problem with the internet. Sorry, sorry. Okay, no problem. I miss all class. Yeah, you can you can sorry. see the video. Yeah, it's okay. Well, everything good go. has an end, <laughs> comes to an end. <laughs> Mr. Pineda, glad to see you as well. Hey, Long well. time. Okay. Good evening. Good, Good evening, evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Bye. 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 Bye.